everybody, it's DB. All right, MetaZoo, where are we at? Unlucky 13. Nightfall. So we're just, we'll just jump right into it. There's no, everybody knows Nightfall. It's second set, it's awesome. Possibly my second favorite set, most likely. I haven't really looked too much in the native, so I can't really say there. But um, Nightfall and Seance are definitely my favorites, art-wise at least. So we'll start. The Headless Coal Miner. Decent looking card. Is it th This might be the most expensive of all of them. No, no it's not. It is not. It is, it's one of the most expensive. These all did really well PSA-wise, but you know what, I'm not gonna get into it. But So for a market of $11.24, it had a 10 sold for the best offer of $119.99. Um, it has a pop of 75, so pretty low pop. These all are fairly low. Again, newer sets, newer card game. Where are they gonna be in a year or so? Well, we'll find out because I'm gonna do this in a year and re-go over all of it. So, uh, Divine Covenant for the second one with a market of $1.12. It's got a pop of 21. This is one of the lower ones for sure. I think the lowest one's my least favorite, so that's kind of cool. Uh, Divine Covenant 21, a 10 sold for $79.99. So what's, I guess, weird is a lot of the metas I've been doing, you're seeing full hollows sell for 20 bucks, like at a steady, like reserve list and um, obnoxious nine, second, second edition, I guess. And uh, even like the wild sevens and stuff like that, you don't really see like higher value and these all sold there's a couple that were pretty low but these all sold for way more than a lot of some of the other sets so which this set actually crashed in price like this set used to be very expensive uh box we're talking 250 i remember seeing on yeah 250 was and i think it's i don't even know what it's at anymore but i don't know it's, it's not quite there um oh before we even get continue if you can give this a thumbs up that would be awesome i appreciate it every time if you could consider subscribing that would be awesome as well and i appreciate it abduction one of my favorite looking cards i don't know what it is about just random ufos taking stuff or just random ufos with the beams for whatever reason metazoo has done amazing at making the ufo cards and this is i guess and i know it's a nightfall card but um just amazing gorgeous got to be the colors with the full house it's got that's the only thing i can think of market of 98 cents pop of 40 and a 10 sold for 59 dollars and 99 cents prism beam basically death beam but in the rainbow form kind of uh not my favorite market of 60 cents a pop of 30 and a 10 recently sold for 79.99 card's worth 60 cents it sold for 80 bucks 25 dollars graded you lose a little on the ebay fee you're still making a little bit of money just doing that just saying just saying uh righteous reckoning i believe this is the one with what wendigo uh to a market of three dollars and 71 cents uh 81 for the pop and a 10 recently sold for $32.74. Also, it was almost $12 shipping, so that uh, would bring the price up to almost, what, 45, 50 bucks? Just about. Born from the Earth. I don't know what it is about that card. I do actually like the artwork. It's the little, like, root, root fella. As you pull him up out of the ground, he's sitting there just kind of hanging out. Very nice card. Um, do not remember what it does, though. <laughs> In all honesty. So it's got a market of 93 cents. It's got a pop of 24, very low. And a 10 sold for, here's one of the low ones, 17 bucks. I actually don't even know if I'd buy that. Yeah, I don't even know if I'd buy that for, for a 10. Just because it's not a, yeah, I would. Oh my kid. If it's under 25 for any of the reserve, full hollow, or the, uh... wow, I didn't even realize my daughter put a bunch of stickers on my arm. Okay, <laughs> so next is actually a really nice looking card. Uh, I believe it's got well, Piazza Bird and 
Is it Loveland and Frogman? It could be. Boil Over with a market of 96 cents. And I actually think this car was pretty good. Uh, with a pop of 47 and a 10 sold for $49.99. From all of these, oh, I do know which one of my favorite is looking wise. And I know which one is the most usable. Like it's such a freaking great card. Um, next, we're gonna go with Alaskan Vortex. Maybe I should start putting numbers in these so I can remember card numbers with an association. Uh, market of 79 cents. A lot of these are pretty low, by the way. 79 cents for market. It's got a pop of 35 and a 10 sold for, this is another lower one, 20 bucks. My least favorite. I do not know what it is about this card. I do not like it. Just the artwork. Um, I'm trying to think if I can remember what this one does either. I don't. Lightning split. Just not. Not for me. Market, 76 cents. Pop of eight, so very low. Probably for a reason. Uh, 10, recently sold for, I don't, I didn't think I saw one for sale, but with a pop of eight, how many were there total graded? It was very low. I think it was under 15 total. All right, flood the earth. Do I have, yeah, I do have. So I can tell you what, no. Yeah, Flood the Earth. What does Flood the Earth do? This must be the only non aura blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of reading. Destroy each face up in the, except for water. All right, that's probably pretty good. It's not as good as the one card that we'll see. So, Flood the Earth. Market, $5.45. I don't know, I didn't, I don't do the, because this is the one set that you can actually get the non hollow and the full hollow, just no reverse. Um, I don't. I didn't put the non-hollow price. Some of the non-hollow prices were actually pretty good for, were very similar. So Flood the Earth, it's got a pop of 20. Market was 545 if I didn't finish my actual thought there. Um, and a 10 sold for $59.99. River of Time, such a good card. Just such a good card. Um, it has a market of, wow, my handwriting is terrible. Either 1844 or 38.44. <laughs> yes, there is a big difference. You know what? Maybe that's even 844 and the money sign got completely just butchered. So I'll put the real price, the right price, there. Uh, you get to take an extra turn. So Magic has that. Uh, does Yu-Gi-Oh? I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh must. Magic for sure has that. And MetaZoo's already put one of those out. So that's freaking sweet. There's multiple cards for Magic to do it. Uh, just, it's a, it's a complete game changer. Once you can get that out, and I believe it was like, what? Six water aura, something like that. So it's not super expensive. And I think there was something even on it that you could actually bring it down. So if you have a certain amount of something, water aura wise, you, you pay one less or you only pay one if that's your main, something like that. I don't know. It's great. Great freaking card. Just awesome. Playable wise. River of Time. Um, yeah, again, I don't know. I don't remember what the market was. Oh, you know what? I bet you it's 844 because that's actually an M. <laughs> so the M just kind of went sideways to make it look like a three. So 844, <laughs> it's got a pop of 21 and a 10 recently sold for $45. I actually possibly would spend that extra because i don't usually go over like 30 35 for for most psa i also only buy nines for the most part because i'm cheap um great card save them for your decks save them just they're it's a great card the next one's my favorite looking one the uh i'm gonna butcher this one too i, I always say stelacities but it's not it's stelastites stelastites We'll go with that. Uh, it's got a market of $3.75. Uh, pop of 14. So pretty low still. Oh, wow. With the best offer of $139.99. That surprises me. I just did the research for this like two days ago. And I, I guess I don't even pay attention while I'm doing it. That's pretty good. Again, best offer. So you, you, know, you never know. But And then, let's just look at the artwork though for that. That's amazing. 
It's it's got the the cave and was I think there's bats in the hollow part. It's it's great. Uh, for some reason, MetaZoo has become one of my favorite art wise and hollow wise and just I really I have begun to really like MetaZoo. Unfortunately, it's put Pokemon way aside. I used to do nothing but Pokemon videos. Lately, it's been mostly MetaZoo and Yu-Gi-Oh. They like opening Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, so I think this is the last one. I don't think there was yeah. I'd count them, but yeah. Hell's Gate. I honestly can't remember what this one looks like. Market of $6.16. Pop of 64 And a 10 recently sold for $54.99. That's it. Um, where are we going from here? Obnoxious 9, probably 2nd edition. And then Obnoxious 9, 1st edition. And then Obnoxious 9 Kickstarter. So that'll probably be one per week. Boop, boop, boop. And um, yeah, then what? Oh, holiday sets. Let's get some holiday sets. That'd be pretty sweet. I would definitely, I haven't opened too much of the holiday sets. I uh, collect a lot of, collect. I collect a lot of the sealed for the Halloween, but I don't have anything for Christmas, honestly. But anyway, so I stop rambling. If you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and sweet.